it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the video. And welcome to Pasadena, a Xbox park. Now, if I'm doing an Xbox park, that must mean I need a special Xbox special guest. Now, there are some that say that Frontier have just put a restraining order on him because he keeps asking about Planet Zoo Console Edition daily. I have Planet Plip Cam, say hello Plip. Hey yo, thanks very <laughs> much for having me. How's that restraining order going? Well, new video coming out soon, not too well. <laughs> <laughs> So, the park description for this reads, built by Angry Emerald, Grey Mouser, and a late input by Planet Plipcam himself. Hope you enjoy. So, nice, short, and sweet park description. So, this is Pasadena, an Xbox park. So, um, once again, Plip has very, very kindly done all the recording and all the editing for this video. So, thank you ever so much, Plip, for all, the, for all your hard work. But... What a beautiful park, straight off the bat as we're coming in. It's just sensational. It looks very British, but very, like, realistic. Um, that's the kind of, like, vibe that I'm getting from it. How long can you hang? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, dear. Clip, what do you think? Yeah, well, I, I don't think it's an insult to say that this is a bog-standard park because I think it's done so well. It's just realism all the way around. Um, and you can definitely see it's a British park. So much realism involved. And before I talk too much, let's get on this coaster. I mean, this is amazing. Oh, thank you for the save then. I'm not gonna lie, I almost lost it then. <laughs> <sighs> Big breath. I'm okay, don't worry. Just my filthy mind as per normal. Let's carry on and move on, shall we? So, yeah, just, um, I mean, certainly that was not an insult at all. I, I think from what I'm seeing, just of these overshots alone are fantastic. And this, right, oh, I love this. How it goes into that green loop there. And then we've got different colours, so I can see a blue loop as well. You can see a little bit of red, a little bit of orange. I love the differing colours on this. And it seems really smooth as well, some really great transitioning from inversion to inversion as well. I mean, I think it's the SLV, SLV kind of layout. I think it does like the traveling circuit. I'm rubbish at coaster knowledge, but I definitely think it does some kind of fair circuit, like a traveling ride, this kind of thing. But in a permanent state, this one, I think it's beautifully done. Four meters smooth as well. Most of the coasters in this park, apart from the big hyper or whatever it's called. It's absolutely superb. That coaster is just fantastic and such a beautiful layout as well please move away from that sign before i lose it again thank you <laughs> um yeah just beautifully smoothed the small footprint as well the like kind of the way that it interacted with itself just fantastic job really was i love the all these little like trimmings on the buildings as well all these little details we've got some kind of like custom fencing coming down here towards the big wheel some really great touches of realism in this park I'm seeing like all over the place. It's just fantastic. Now, when I was actually, of course, as we've said in the description, I actually did take part in this park as a late addition doing a bit of building. Um, I was looking at that flat ride just there and I couldn't believe the size of the actual, uh, the flat ride itself. Like the footprint that you have to have for that huge wheel, usually you have a queue going up right to the front. Um, it's a real shame for, for Planet Coaster that that is so big and I think that was a ride that I did actually suggest could be cut from this park just because of the sheer scale and discrepancy that you get from the small and nice details, as I'm sure iMatty will pick up on just now. That fact that you've got a remnant to like almost an old carousel that was here that would have been ripped out. Never seen that done before. So we've got Psycho Reborn coming in 2023. I love this. And what's that on the floor? The chair swing. Wow. I love that, like almost that homage to like what came before it and what we've got here, built by Sneak Tag. So Ark also crediting other people from the workshop as well, which I do love as well. Just having that little nod and reference to the original creators. Yeah, I, just going back to that wheel, I love that. Love that they've done that. Um, just that like lovely homage to what would have come before and makes this far, this 
this park fuck? <laughs> Makes us park. Yeah, or you get demonetized. <laughs> no, it was fuck, not park. <laughs> anyway, English Matty. Um, makes this park feel very grounded and very like kind of set in time and like it's been here for a long time and pl please talk and save me because I'm literally falling apart here I think alright then I'll save you um, I really like the details how they've considered all of the uh, extension queue lines as well of course in a park if you have a really big attraction you're going to need a bigger queue for opening days, weekends, all things like that, peak times in the summer holidays and that's perfectly done here. You can see the shorter queue lines uh, which is just what you need for this park as in some areas of the park it seems very empty but as we'll see later on it seems very busy in some areas uh, but we're going to get on this coaster I'm not too sure and clued up about the heights and if it's a hyper or a whatever the other names are for the heights of coasters but uh, this one is not 4 meter smooth but then again some beautiful head choppers. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving some of the sight lines as well. One thing that I should point out as well, this is a last gen console park. So this is a last gen Xbox. So when as we're going around the park and as we're seeing a lot of these details and a lot of this realism as well, it makes it that much more impressive and once again, for me, puts this argument to bed of you can't create good things on console. No, we can't sometimes compete with the PC guys. It's inevitable, it's just one of them things. But the, the, the people that say that we can't create beautiful things on console, parks like this just prove otherwise. It's just fantastic. The, the only limit is your imagination. And if you're gonna go into a park thinking, I can't do this because it's console, then you're gonna struggle. It's about being smart, and smart, not more. And, and what, Grey Mouser and Angry Emerald and then also Plip as, as well have done in this park is just sensational and, and it's just proof of what you can do on a last gen console as well. Just great job guys, really is. Yeah and I think they've really played into, I know of course that will be an argument that PC players have that you of course have the build limit but you know these people do know how to play to the build limit, they know how to optimise their parks. And yes, a little bit more planning I can see could have been done to this to get some things finished like the coaster station for that big hyper. Uh, but of course, you know, it's all with learning and this I think is only like the third or fourth part that they've done. So uh, all in time, definitely get uh, perfect to, you know, playing with what, whatever console you've got. And then this is the Dragon Coaster you can see flying over the roof at the moment. A beautiful layout. This is probably my favourite coaster in the park just because of a uh, really nice almost standard layout. But then again... Uh, some really nice sight lines and then the realism considered it and yeah i love that coaster you know that was mm. brilliant Re again really nicely smoothed and like kind of just it was just nicely decorated around it was only use of foliage and paint tool and things like that but it was really nicely done to great effect and i mean you know first hand play that i love my paint tool Paint tool is one thing that I always look out for and I believe it can really bring a park to life having that different transitioning with the colouring of the flooring like from them grassy areas and things like that and and this park just utilises it fantastic all the way around. I like the weeds and stuff like this. I love how you've got all the weeds that are built up around here. It just feels that much more realistic and a little bit unkempt and like i'm not saying that all british parks are like this but you get my meaning though plip it's like a lot of british parks maybe might yeah. not might not have the budget to be like kind of cutting it all back all the time and keeping on top of this so it does get a little bit more overgrown exactly and i mean from uk parks i can maybe base this on something like it's almost like a thought park because it does seem very compact but also at the same time something like an oakwood where you do have lots of nature around and I love how that's considered with all the, you know, bits of overgrown stuff, add a bit of character. And again, as we've been saying, like homages to past rides, uh, it's just adding a bit of a narrative to this park. Um, and I'll just introduce this ride to you. As I think this came seventh, I think, in Coaster Dan um, or Coasting Dan, wh whatever the YouTube channel is, a huge um, like speculation channel for theme park news. They did a Planet Coaster contest on the PC on the PC, and this came second, um, seventh uh, wow. on the console, so really well done. And I think wow. it was over like 100 entries or something. 
That's, that's super impressive. That's incredible. Going up, up the, the lift, lift hill, hill then. Yeah. Going up the lift hill, like and subscribe. <laughs> that's Plip's thing. Yep. Make sure to go and like and subscribe to Plip's channel as well. I'll leave links down below. Thanks very much. <laughs> of course. But as we just move <laughs> on this, I love this. This is very much looking at the sight lines again as well. Really nice coaster, but some great sight lines around as well. It was very included in the park and a very main staple of the park as well. I kind of like it's been very specifically built with everything around it as well. Great I think it's there. such a snappy coaster. It like the way it makes its way through the elements and how it goes into the terrain and how you've got the little pits uh, with water treatment that of course could prevent the flooding that seems likely with all this water, natural water around that they're trying to pump out um, as you'll see to the right hand side of this bridge. Um, I just think such snappy elements and beautiful terrain make that um, the coaster that it is and I'm not surprised that it did so well in that contest. Mm, yeah, 100%. Looks fantastic. I'm, I'm just loving all the natural vibrancy of this park it just feels so real so realistic like yeah, I, I just think it's absolutely brilliant I, i'm really enjoying this and a great xbox park once again now anyone that will have seen plip's video when i joined him a couple of weeks ago i informed plip that i am going to be buying an xbox which i am very excited for by the way and and this is going to be one of them parks that will be downloading because it's just fantastic one thing i will say is maybe just reduce your guest count a little bit because it does seem a little bit overcrowded around this area maybe so i don't know if this is four thousand guests but maybe just knock it back to about two thousand we'll also bring the percentage down a little bit as well but yeah i love all this so then just looking at that terrain beautiful and also how the coaster flies over and you've got a brilliant view just to take some photos. It reminds me of Nemesis mm. getting so close to the path. Uh, oh, there's an insanity could... ride there as well. I never even saw yeah, there that. Is, yeah. I didn't even see the insanity ride because it was so well integrated into the sight line of the other ride and the foliage and everything. I genuinely didn't even see that there until you were right up to it. And it's probably because it's colour green, which of course goes into the theme, but... Uh... Yeah, probably because it's green, you didn't see it amongst all the trees. So we've got this pirate ship here as well. So nice like to have this little bit of a transition into a different area. Oh, Tommy's Whirly Rig. So that would be referring to Tommy CM. Another amazing content creator, spotlighter. Somebody else, I'll make sure to leave us a link down below. But he loves his Whirly Rigs. So a lovely little tribute to Tommy CM there. As well, we've got the Rocktopus. The Rocktopus. Oh, Plip, I thought you were stuck then. I'm not going to lie. I thought you'd no, got I stuck. know, I did. I did, and I was worrying if I was going to have to restart, and we were all good. I love the fact that there's the two different differing areas as well. So we've got that like kind of one side, like very British feel, like you said, like Thorpe Park or something like that, or um, Flamingo Land, something along them yes. lines. And then you've got this very much pirate theme on this side of the park, which I really like. Like you've kind of like got them two differing sides of the park maybe like kind of works into that story of maybe this kind of like came a little bit later and kind of like expanded the park into this area as well like when they've had like a little bit more investment kind of thing or been brought out by two swords or something like that yeah it's a, it's a good uh, point to mention because i mean i've spoken to angry emerald creator on xbox live party chats and he said if we if we had a little bit more percentage we definitely had a bit more of a transition path between the British area uh, to the more well the more themed kind of Disneyland kind of area that you've got here a bit of a bigger budget around here um, and I think with percentage that would have happened uh, but I think in terms of the path in that goes through you will have seen it was a really long stretch all the way mm. uh, as he went from the entrance way and you could see all the way to the last flat ride at the end of where that Juno coaster was so maybe a bit more um, adding some trees in, maybe to break it up a bit, or just vary, varying, uh, you know, the turns in the path to make it a bit more immersive. Just uh, buy a next gen console. Did you could do that? Yeah. Well, you say they, that. They, yeah. they, 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 it's, 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 <laughs> well, to be honest, Plip, you're like this big YouTube star. Why don't you buy him one? <laughs> <laughs> 
No, <laughs> not monetized yet. <laughs> I mean, uh, this this is really nice as well. Very, you don't see this ride very often either. Now, of all the spotlights I've done, I think this is the second of these rides that I've seen. And the fact that they've done that on the floor as well with the wooden trimming on the floor. Now that must have taken a long time. I cannot be underestimated how difficult that would have been to get that done. But then with all the wood on both sides, the fencing either side, that's some dedication right there to have done that. That's impressive. Yeah, I, lo I love how it's all trimmed around the outside and with all the barrels. Uh, that you got going around, it's perfect. Look, perfect clutter, um, and I think um, I was watching a stream. I think it was Poetry Slam the other day, and she was saying one of the masters of clutter is actually Wix, and I definitely agree with that. And Angry Emerald's done such a good job of just getting so much random stuff uh, just to make an amalgamate into a real good experience. You only need a couple of beams, uh, random stuff. Even Western pieces work uh, for the pirate set. I think it's worked perfectly well outside, yeah. outside of this rock feature. And uh, to the right-hand side, this is uh, coming into my area just now. Oh, I'm excited to see this then, see your contribution to the park then. So we've got this beautiful little water feature in front of us, that wooden coaster there as well. I keep pointing at the screen, like you can see what I'm doing, Flip, but clearly you can't. Wow, oh, that is a beautiful log flume. That is sensational. Oh, is that what you is that what you did, Plip? Yeah, I, d I did that log flume. Oh, so, wow. uh, Grey Master and Angry Emerald approached me uh, saying, would you like to build in the park? And, you know, I'm really honoured to be chosen because I treat my parks as like my little babies. I don't want to pass them off to many people, really. And even do a collaboration park, it's always difficult to say, oh, can you finish this off for me? Um, it's really difficult to do. So thank you very much for... Uh, letting me build in your park um, and when I did a, a little uh, video of sh explaining this you know the gratitude uh, I hope it's really shown I love what you have done here so how this bit comes like into this whole backstage area the thought of realism that you've gone to here so you've got the water dispensing pumps there as well this is very unique and original as well for a log flume to have had like this whole upper section and then the lower bit underneath um, in the maintenance area that is absolutely fantastic what a great job Lip and you've got like kind of the custom made yeah. boat there as well then what are we doing now so as I stated at the start of the video Plip has already like pre-recorded all of this as well so this is not me controlling the camera this is the first time I'm watching this video so I don't know where we're going or anything like that I'm experiencing this for the first time as much as you guys are watching as well so if I am a little bit of unfamiliar where we're going that's why are we not going for a ride on that flip we are yeah oh, that's okay. that's the uh, the bit of a viewpoint and then we'll go around here um, I actually did build some dryers haystack dryers which are on the workshop and I actually got for the first time I had a little celebration to myself for the first time ever I got on the front page of the workshop oh yay um, congrats I know because they've suddenly fixed it so I put that haystack dryer on but sadly, Angry Emerald does not have the Ghostbusters DLC, so that is not included in the final pack because I used lots of pieces from that. Ah. Uh, so the queue line needed a bit of a, a view from here, a bit of a midway, uh, earn, them, earn some money with that sushi stand. I don't think I want sushi from a vending machine. I don't like not sushi. I'm allergic to fish. Um, I wouldn't do no, that good well, for I me. don't even like sushi. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, I'm allergic to fish, so it probably wouldn't be the greatest idea in the world. Sushi fish. So yeah, going around in the queue line just now. Um, <laughs> you didn't dance. Really it. nice. Sorry, I didn't hear. Is Sorry. sushi fish? Is sushi fish? Yes, of course it is. I, I, that, I, I sound like the dumbest person alive on the planet right now. I didn't actually know or not. So yeah, I couldn't have sushi because I'd die. Oh. Well, that's why I don't like don't it. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think this is amazing, Plip. I think this is absolutely brilliant. Now, the wooden coaster we saw over there, that is the final bit of the video, is it not? Yes. You do actually get to yeah. go on that. Okay, cool. Because I yes. know, of course, we do only have a couple of minutes left of this video now. And 
Um, I mean, I do want to say before we do get to the end of the video, what an amazing park this is. And this is very much a park that I will download when I get an Xbox and I will be having a walk around and experience it myself. If you do own an Xbox, I do highly recommend going and downloading this for yourself and really checking it out, having a look at it because just the little touches of realism all the way around, just absolutely sensational. Really, really nicely done. On that, uh, on that end bit just there, I tried to do a bit of triggering with the water. I hadn't seen it done by many people. So I thought I'd trigger some of the, like the wave that you get on a log flume. Mm. Um, because they don't actually have that in the game, so I thought that worked quite well. And we're just coming up to the final ride of the park now, and I believe this is going to be pretty much where the video is going to be ending. So I want to make sure before the video ends, thank you ever so much, Plip, for joining me, for taking the time and doing all the editing. Absolutely amazing. Once again, been an absolute pleasure having you along. We've got about 30 seconds left on this ride, so take care, stay safe, look after yourself, because I probably won't get time to say that. Plip, final thoughts just before we close out? Pretty superb. Um, thank you so much for having me. I really do enjoy joining you. It's so lovely to join together and talk about parks. And sometimes you can get lost for words. And yeah, brilliant. Bog standard park. I hope that's not an insult. Beautiful realism. And uh, yeah, look forward to the next one. Uh, thank you ever so much, everybody. Make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in a couple of days for another Park Spotlight. Bye, everybody.